today on the TMZ Podcast. Hello and welcome to the TMZ Podcast. I'm Charlie Cotton and today I'm joined by Devin Rahl. How are you, Devin? I'm good. I feel like we're on much better terms than last time. Yeah, last time, look, we had a little beef. It's been a better week this week so far. We're making, you know, moves in the right direction. So it's- I'm happy to be back. I'm glad you're back. It's hard to get you back, but God, I love it when you're here, Devin. I mean, I, phew, there's nowhere I'd rather be right now. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Alan Ruck from Ferris Bueller, but more recently from Succession. He had a nasty car accident. Bizarre. Bizarre car accident. He, he collided with a pizza shop. It collided is, yes. is an understatement. He was inside a pizza shop. He was. He was with his car. That's right. Uh, we'll also talk about the controversies stemming out of Halloween. There are a handful of celebrities getting hate for their, uh, I don't know, poor taste Halloween costume. It happens every year. It does. Every year there's controversy that comes out of Halloween. I know, but you got to love it. Yeah, parts of it. <laughs> it's, it's, tough to, it's tough to dress up. Though. It, it is. What, you go in as a Sasquatch. Uh, Bigfoot. Yeah, Sasquatch, Bigfoot, same thing, I think. I think, yeah, just... It was okay. Can and potato. It was okay. It was fine. It was fine. I felt like the costumes in the office were just whatever this year. I know, someone else went as Sasquatch, kind of a, too. Yeah, that was a... When you have another person dress up as the same thing, is you total downer. I know, that's sad, that's sad. But to begin with, let's talk about the rich people problems that the Kardashians are experiencing. Because everyone's favorite show was on last night, The Kardashians on Hulu. Uh, and <laughs> everyone's favorite show. Well, I mean, it's a big, it, it, it is the reality show of reality shows, even though it used to be keeping up with the Kardashians, but now they've moved to Hulu and this, um, family just keeps on giving us great storylines because apparently Kim was talking with her sister and she said that the kids, particularly North doesn't like living with her. She'd prefer to live with Kanye in his shitty old apartment. That's can't be. Well, listen to the sound, Devin. Here we go. North, she'll go to her dad. She'll be like, dad is the best. He has it all figured out. He doesn't have a nanny. He doesn't have a chef. He doesn't have security. He lives in an apartment and she'll start crying. Why don't you have an apartment? I can't believe we don't have an apartment. I feel like everything falls on the parent that's like more involved. Yeah. But like, We make our own food. That's amazing that you make ramen, you know, Mm -hmm. like great, you know, that you boil water and pour it onto some noodles. Yeah. Okay. First of all, that was shade. Oh, big time. And I have a lot to say about this. So, so what's their definition of an apartment? Well, because because it's not my apartment or your apartment that North is going to. I know no one really knows where Kanye is. No one knows where he's living. There's rumors, I think, that he was living in L.A. It, it, like, the apartment cost $20,000 a month. So, yeah, it, it isn't like... It def- isn't like terrible. slums. No, no, no. The, I mean, I'm sure it's very sort of like minimalist, very Yeezy. And, but to describe like, oh, she lives in this apart- he lives in this apartment. And you got no nanny. No, no chef. They have to cook their own food. But, but, and, and they found it like amazing that they cooked ramen noodles like that, you know. I feel like they were kind of throwing shade on that. Like, oh, they cooked ramen, so you think it's like better over there. But I feel like, I mean, you, you have like a young daughter. I feel like kids don't really care about stuff like that. Like as far as this big, crazy house in Calabasas, like they're saying, like kids just like, like being with who they like with, like doing things with people. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure Kanye is, you know, a fun dad and they do get to see him less. So it makes it more special sort of time with him. Totally. But I, I don't think sort of like he's an easy guy to live with full time, you know? And, and I think you do take it out on the parent you live with most probably. Um, because the, also the parent you're living with most is like the person who's, you know, handing down on the discipline, yes. telling you to clean up your room. You got to go to school. So it's like, then when you're with dad, it's like vacation. You're, oh, ma- you're making ramen. hundred percent. And, and, and North is just, I just think she's obsessed with Kanye. You know, I, I just think she, she loves her dad. She wants to be like her dad. Did you, she wore, um, for Halloween, she wore the bear Costume from College Dropout. I saw that. That's crazy. I mean, and she's a little bit eccentric like Kanye, it seems like. She's, like, into the arts. She's into, like, doing kind of 
all odd things. I guess well, like putting makeup on and, she, and, and she, doing all the crazy like Halloween costumes that she does. She and... ate an onion this episode. Wait, what? This You say she's into weird things? This episode of the Kardashians, she ate an onion like an apple. Like apparently- Raw? Yes. I've never seen someone do that. It's, I mean, I don't know if they're just doing that for like another storyline or- uh, They always do do this because remember like, uh, I think it was Kendall on the show, uh, didn't know how to cut a cucumber. Yes. I feel like viral. they were like, hey guys, we got to do something that's just odd yes. with food. Yes. They need, they need like a viral little clip. And, and, that, and that onion eating clip has gone like as if North likes to eat an onion. Did raw. she peel it all the way? I think it, it still had the, no. It had the skin. Oh on it come still. on, that, come on. That's we a can't bridge keep, too far. We can't keep falling for this. Okay, dude. not falling. And wouldn't you start crying as you're eating it? Uh, I would believe so. I'm. I yeah, you would. Well, Are you an onion chopper? Um. Uh, yes and no. I am it, like in a pinch. I prefer my wife to cut the onions. Oh, in a pinch, sexist! Oh uh, no, she just she has n smaller hands, so it's much nimbler to cut. Oh, okay, all right, I'm convinced. Um, so Kanye as well right now, isn't he supposed to be having like a big listening party for his new album that, right now? And th I mean, there's all these reports that keep coming out that him and uh, Ty Dolla Sign, who's helping him produce this album, have this you know. Brand new album out that's supposed to come out. They have music they've been working on that it's supposed to sound like the old Kanye sound, mm. not so much the new political church type music. It's not anti-Semitic like anthem. Exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. No anti-Semitism as far as we know. Right. But I think the issue is, you know, all the things he's, he's said, streamers and uh, these people who are putting... Um, not the streamers it's but like the uh the, the record heads the record the studios. The studios exactly aren't really wanting to co-sign him right of now. course so so all of his recording events have been sort of like canceled well i mean I, I guess they didn't even start to begin with he was trying to make events a, a global stadium sort of night where the his movie of his concert would be broadcast all around the world he planned this big thing and then no one wanted to do it Basically, I mean, he's kind of, uh, yeah. I mean, when you say the things that he said, it, it's hard to come back from that. Oh, totally. I mean, he can release the music though. It's like there's avenues. Put it up on SoundCloud or on YouTube. Ah, uh, maybe YouTube would have an issue with it. But I feel like there is ways he could get the music out on social media. But I think he wants to do it legit with like a distributor, and that that's going to be a real issue. And like, if it's a banger of a track, I think everybody will still listen. Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, everyone's going to tune in because it's Kanye, just to see what it sounds like yeah. and what he says. And then if it's really good, I mean, people still listen to R. Kelly. So I mean, Ignition Remix. That's a great. I mean, song. it's fire. It's fire. Um, it's interesting as well. Just last thing on these Kardashian sisters. They've been beefing all season, these two. They're They've at, been beefing. Well, no, it actually has. Uh, have you watched any of the episodes? I, I've, I've seen all the clips that we do. I can't say I've sat down on, uh, I think it comes out on Wednesday night on Hulu and like grabbed <laughs> popcorn and watched it, but I have seen clips. Yeah, they, they really, unless they're a fantastic actresses, like they've been really at each other. And, and, and a lot of people suspect that it stems from the fact that Travis Barker, in his memoir a few years ago, he wrote that he used to have a crush on Kim. Yeah, I read. I read it. Read his memoir like when it came out. Oh, really? Yeah, you read? Yeah, I know. It's very shocking. That is shocking. But I, I was, was a huge Blink or am a huge Blink One Eighty Two fan, oh, wow. so I was interested in reading it. And yeah, he goes into depth at the time. Um, she was Paris Hilton's like assistant. Yeah, and he talked about how he had like a big crush on her and. I, they didn't never. I don't think they ever hooked up or anything. He said, but um, it is interesting. It's like you write that all you know in your memoir or whatever years, you know, in the past, yeah. and now you're dating and married the and sister. having a kid with the sister. I mean, that's a little awkward. That's what people suspect is like, kind of like the crux of the issue between these two sisters. Is that Travis Barker sort of? Yeah, I mean, again, dude, it's just like there's people in a room. That are like, all right, this is this is gonna be a storyline. Story this story is gonna line, be story a storyline. Line. Cross that one out. Yeah. Like, I never know what to believe with these people. No, me neither. Me neither. Okay. But but I will say they in this clip, Kim. Kim fantastic. Kim, Kim. Yeah, fantastic is right. I don't know how she has I mean, not that I'm maybe she is dating, we just don't know, but I mean She'll be I'm sure she's gotta be dating someone. There was rumors private. about Odell Beckham, but I, I don't know how true Tom, that it's was. It's gotta be Tom Brady. Yeah. It's gotta be Tom Brady. Hopefully. Okay, on to our next story. Alan Ruck uh, from Succession, from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, he was involved in one of the craziest car accidents you're going to see because 
there's video out there. There's security footage. Um, you should go to our website and check it out because uh, this is a mini car collision because Alan Ruck. It's is, all on surveillance. It's all on surveillance. And it appears to be largely or all Alan Ruck's fault. At least from what I see, clearly it's his fault. Because he's going quite fast and the lane he's in is supposed to be at a red light. But he's going quite fast and he bumps a car that stopped at the red light into incoming traffic. And that car then collides with another car. And he keeps going, crosses oncoming traffic and goes into the side of this pizza joint in Hollywood. Like into the building, fully in there. Right. The car is more in than out. And it's just, it's crazy that this massive actor got into such a massive and just like bizarre crash. Luckily, the no, no one was really seriously hurt. I guess one person might have been transported to the hospital with like super minor injuries, but everyone's okay, which is why it's like, I mean, when you see the video, it's like you can't believe no one was hurt, including, including him. I can't believe no one was hurt. But he apparently uh, told, uh, there was people on the scene that when he got out, he was telling them, I don't really know what happened. Um, and then uh, he was completely fine. And apparently he was just more worried about possibly hurting someone else and was making sure everyone was okay. I would be too if I was him. Well, y yeah. And ev I mean, have, did you see the truck he was driving, by the way? It's uh, a Rivian. Rivian. So those are the electric trucks. Those things go, I think, for like starting $80,000. It's a nice truck. And it is ruined. So they, so they, he crashed at the intersection of Hollywood and La Brea. On Halloween. On Halloween night, mm -hmm. that is one of the busiest pedestrian field. You have to watch this video and how no pedestrian got struck is beyond me. Even one of the cars struck was trying to turn a corner where there was pedestrians crossing the road, a group of pedestrians. In costume. In costume, crossing the road. It, it, Alan Ruck could have been in big, big trouble. Oh, huge trouble. And he, uh, we should say that, you know, we talked to law enforcement. He wasn't cited for anything. You know, they're investigating the crash. It didn't appear like there was any drinking or drugs, like no DUI uh, situation. So I'm just confused. I've never been in a Rivian but like when you watch the video, it's like, did he, is there some like automatic yeah. button that he pressed or was he not familiar with the car? It's, it's, it's like the brakes weren't working. Did he fall asleep? Like it, it was only like 9 PM. It's just, it, it's unexplainable what happened here. It, it, it really is. But I, there's going to have to be some splain and done. There because, has. But because, but he's going to have to say what happened. He's going to have to come out and say, look, I fell asleep or, or, or the brakes. Or like, like a, he was he looking at his phone. I mean, you don't want to speculate. But like, even then, like. Or was he doing like the two foot, you know, driver where he like thought it was the brake and then he hit the gas. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know what ha you, what could it cause. You need answers because when some of these things happen and between the first time he crashed into the back of a car and hitting into the pizza shop, there's a few seconds that go by. Why don't you slam on the brakes? Yeah. Like, why don't you slam on the brakes? Like, that, isn't that what you first do when you like see sense some danger or you hit something? He, there's no brake slamming going on until he just careens and, into and, the. And yeah, no. And once everyone's okay, you know, then the jokes were flying. This is why Cameron's dad didn't want him driving the Ferrari and oh, Paris Bueller's. Oh, that's good. I saw another one. Like, just uh, next time you want pizza, just get takeout. Yeah. The drive-through jokes. Ah, uh, drive. -thru. So there's a lot of good ones firing off. Once no one's seriously injured, then. You know, the internet goes crazy. Once, Actually, they do regardless. W w once he was like just lodged in the building, he should he should have just, you know, I will have two pies to go. Yeah, I mean, at, at that point, I mean, you got to call it a night. Okay. On to our final story, Halloween. The gift that keeps on giving. There are several controversies that have stemmed from the night. And I mean, it's pretty funny to me. Uh, the first one, Emily Hampshire. She is from Schitt's Creek. Okay. Very famous actress. She dressed as Johnny Depp and her friend dressed as Amber Heard. Topical. And, and it was quite a very good costume. And she even had like a little piece of poo with her because, you know, that famous thing where Amber allegedly we talked pooped, about, yeah, pooped yeah, into Johnny's bed. Yeah, yep. For some reason, 
the internet went crazy over this costume. So much so she had to scrub all of the posts and put up an apology, basically saying how I want to address that what is one of the most thoughtless, insensitive and ignorant things I've ever done. If that's true, she's not done a lot of ignorant things. That one is. Because that's not even a bad costume. No, no, no it's not. not so at me. this point, it's like, what can you be? Like, you just have to dress up as, like, a witch, a ghost. <laughs> yeah, I'd be careful with them. Yeah, you do, the white sheet gets no, a little dicey. It, it does, it, it does. But it's, like, it, it's so hard. Or they're saying because, obviously, it was domestic abuse that was a I understand. I understand, you know, what they're trying to sort of, like, yeah, it was a messy situation between Johnny and Amber. But the, the next one, I don't think is that insane to come at Justin Trudeau. Because um, Justin Trudeau, the, the Prime Minister of Canada... His son, Hadrian, dressed as a beheaded man. Now, on most years, that'd fly. It's probably quite a popular, you know, yeah. costume. But it, right now, with everything going on in Israel, um, stories of beheading of children, that sort of stuff, it's just really tone deaf for a leader of a country, Canada, to, you know, let his son dress like that. So my thoughts on this one are, do I think linking like the costume to the beheading and all the insane horrible things that are happening in the Middle East in Gaza like to this costume I think is a little bit of a stretch but as like you're saying as the prime minister mm. you have to be smarter than this yes a if your son wants to do that for Halloween don't post a photo with him right standing smiling with your arm next to him and b just tell your son, hey, man, maybe next year. Yeah. This, this year is probably not the time for this costume. And also, Justin Trudeau has already been through a Halloween costume controversy. Oh, my God. I almost forgot about that. And, and that's why it comes back up. And I remind you that in, in 2001, he dressed like in blackface. He went as Aladdin and he painted his face. This guy needs to never... Like Halloween, just just stay inside. No photos, because even in this photo, he wasn't even dressed up, and he still exactly he still can't stay out of it. Justin. Stay out of Halloween. Just Halloween is not for Justin. No. L last thing I'll discuss is that in in Texas, did you see the candy thieves? Candy thieves are a big thing around Halloween, and these parents and kids went up to a house of this famous musician somewhere in Texas, and like just there's surveillance video of them stealing all of the candy. Well. When someone has a basket out on trick or treat, free for all. I, I kind of think it's a free for it all. It says it says here that there was like a sign that said "take one piece of candy." No, Dude, no, no, absolutely not. If, if you, you don't have the energy to sit down there with the candy, you don't deserve to stole it out one by one. If you're not going to be monitoring this bowl, yes, then all rules are off. 100%. I can take whatever the hell. I could take the whole bowl if I want to. Yeah, I'm surprised they left the actual bowl. If, imagine if they had like a bowl of weed out there, and I was supposed to just take one. Oh well, you're never taking one. Right, exactly. This, this is... Then I need the snacks too, actually, yeah, please. Then, then you'd be trick-or-treating all night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, um, thank you very much, Devin, for joining me here today. Yeah, it was fun. And we'll see you guys here tomorrow. Yep. Bye.